Dr. James Sulikowski of the University of New England has been reporting poor beagle sightings for several days. One of the species that I focus on is the poor beagle shark. And it's an interesting shark in that it's endothermic, and we know very little about it. You know, in a sense, we call it the phantom shark because it's so hard to catch. One thing that gave me hope about chasing the phantom this time was that James has actually tagged these sharks, and he had tracked where they went, and he was showing that they had returned. The team leaves the Gulf Stream behind, pushing farther into the waters of the Labrador Current. Dr. Sulikowski will help them find this rare species, which may be the most extreme of all warm-blooded sharks. One of the fascinating things about the Gulf of Maine is its environment. It's brutal when you think about it. We've got almost a 30-degree temperature swing that those fish and sharks are dealing with. The poor beagle exists in waters that range from the low 30s in the winter to the upper 60s in summer. I'm dying to see how this animal behaves in these cold waters off the coast of Maine and how efficient their endothermic system might be. For the poor beagle, every piece of data the team collects will be crucial to understanding this little known species. These tags are great, these satellite tags, these pop-up satellite tags. And this one's what we call a high-rate satellite tag. So it's collecting data at two-minute intervals on temperature, on depth, and it also collects a light level so it can get a geolocation. We can know where it goes. Because it's gonna give us information of where it spends time in the water column, where does it go, on the surface of the ocean. What horizontally, where does it move? Shark Week starts Sunday, July 23rd on Discovery.